Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, August the 5th. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Alleluia. Psalm 23, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul, and you lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in your house forever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Alleluia. Second Samuel chapter 5, beginning at verse 22. Once again, the Philistines came up and were spread out in the valley of Rephraim. When David inquired of the Most High, he said, You shall not go up. Go around to their rear and come upon them opposite the balsam trees. When you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then be on the alert. For then the Most High has gone out before you to strike down the army of the Philistines. And David did just as the Most High had commanded him, and he struck down the Philistines from Geba all the way to Gezer. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. David and all the people with him set out and went from Baal Judah to bring up from there the Ark of God, which is called by the name of the Most High of hosts, who is enthroned on the cherubim. They carried the Ark of God on a new cart, and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill. Uzzah and Ahiho, the sons of Abinadab, were driving the new cart with the Ark of God, and Ahiho went in front of the Ark. David and all the house of Israel were dancing before the Most High with all that might, with songs and lyres and harps, tambourines and castanets and cymbals. When they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, Uzzah reached out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen lurched. The anger of the Most High was kindled against Uzzah, and God struck him there, and he died there beside the ark of God. David was angry because the Most High had burst forth with an outburst upon Uzzah, so that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. David was afraid of the Most High that day. He said, how can the Ark of the Most High come into my care? So David was unwilling to take the Ark of the Most High into his care in the city of David. Instead, David took it to the house of Obed, the Giddite. The Ark of the Most High remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Giddite, three months. And the Most High blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia, Psalm 27. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, I shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. 
one thing that I have desired of you, one thing that I seek that I may dwell in your house in the days of my life, to behold your beauty and to inquire in your temple. For in the time of trouble you will hide me in your pavilion, in the secret of your tabernacle, and you will set me high upon a rock. My head shall be lifted above my enemies who surround me, and I offer sacrifices of joy in your tabernacle. Yes, I sing, I sing praises to you. Hear me when I cry aloud to you, have mercy on me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not put me away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, you will take me up. Teach me your way, my beloved, and lead me in a plain path. Do not deliver me to my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out cruelty. I would have fainted unless I had believed that I would see your goodness in the land of the living. I wait on you. If I am courageous, you will strengthen my heart. As for me, I wait on you. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. In those days, when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread here in the desert? He asked, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves. And after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish, and after blessing them, he ordered that these, too, should be distributed. They ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Now there were about 4,000 people, and he sent them away. And immediately he got up into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Dalmunatha. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints sing for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a bright spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. 
lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God, our light and salvation, grant us the patience and courage to wait upon you, and forsake us not, that our faith may be increased, and that our hearts may be strengthened, and that we may dwell in your house all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.